Hey guys, Jeremy here. Normally I'd be talking to you in front of the camera. I'm actually packing for a social distance adventure, so my camera gear is all put away. But I wanted to talk to you guys about this, mainly because of the fandom that I'm in right now. I've restarted rereading the Harry Potter books. I've been replaying Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on my Xbox for the last few days, and it's been really, really fun to play, if a little bit demoralizing because of how quickly it took me to beat it. But I was doing this in terms of building up my anticipation for Hogwarts Legacy. This is the RPG game that has been in the depths of maybe-isms for the last three, four, five years. I swear that EA had an idea about it, but they never wanted to do anything with it, and then WB has been working on it. It does admittedly worry me that the guys who are making the game, Portkey Games, are not a very big publisher. They were co-actors with Nautica when making Pokemon Go, so these guys have literally made nothing but Android games. They made that Harry Potter Wizards Unite, which was that incredibly ridiculous microtransaction-filled version of Pokemon Go, but with Harry Potter slapped on it. It is being co-developed by a team called Avalanche Software. And admittedly, I thought these guys were the guys who made the Mad Max game, but that's Avalanche Games or Avalanche Studios. This is Avalanche Software. Th they have a bit of a checkered history. They've made some good games. They've made some bad games. Um, for instance, some really good games. They've helped with some of the Mortal Kombat games. They made the Disney Infinity games, which I heard were just absolute massive, massive hits until for some reason Disney completely got rid of the entire thing. Toy Story 3 was an underrated hit. They also did 25 to Life, which was a terrible, terrible crime game. The fact that this game is being made by two people who really don't have much kind of under their belt is a little bit discouraging, but otherwise I was still very excited for it because it is a RPG game at Hogwarts. For those of you who never got to play the movie tie-in games, really the only ones that really let you explore the Hogwarts as it was, was the remake of Philosopher's Stone, Chamber Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban to an extent, and then I think it was either Order of the Phoenix or the Half-Blood Prince, one of those two. They both were pretty empty, but they were kind of visually like, oh, this is what Hogwarts like. This is going to be a game, a big one. However, WB did announce that there is going to be a delay, and this is on an article from Collider. Now, admittedly, I'm actually not as upset about this, just because of what's happening with Cyberpunk 2077. Admittedly, it is still a little bit of a disappointment considering how I have to wait another year now. As the article here on Collider, the Harry Potter game Hogwarts Legacy, originally due out this year, will now arrive sometime in 2020. The RPG, firmly set in the Wizarding World, was one of the most anticipated games of the year. Now it looks like it is one of the most anticipated title of next year instead, we hope. It's not surprising that this title is getting delayed, call it COVID effect, the Cyberpunk 2077 effect. The reality is that times are tough and customers are tougher, especially when a game doesn't live up to its own hype. The Hogwarts Legacy folks are wisely tamping down expectations at this point by not saying much now and waiting to say more later. Stay tuned as we hear it. This all came to fruition when the Hogwarts Legacy Twitter uh, tweeted out a post saying we would like to thank the fans around the world on the tremendous reaction to the announcement of Hogwarts Legacy from Portkey Games label creating the best possible experience for all the Wizarding World and gaming fans is paramount to us so we're giving the game the time it will need Hogwarts Legacy will be released in 2020 but I can't really be upset about this considering what happened with 2077 I literally popped that game in. Either way, those are the notes I have about this. Tell me if you guys are a little bit upset about this. Admittedly, I am, but at the same time, I can completely understand where these guys are coming from. And considering these guys do not have a lot of experience, especially port key games, and considering they're going from phone games to a full-on third-person RPG game. Thankfully, most of the development is being done by another studio, and Portkey Games is kind of the publishing label, but I am still a little bit skeptical because of the lack of experience. Here's hoping that these guys aren't going to jump the gun, and we're going to get an experience that's going to be fun. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.